Section 4.1 is the triangle sum conjecture, and 4.2 are properties of isosceles triangles. Please put this into your table of contents, and then we'll get going. So section 4.1 is the triangle sum conjecture. The triangle sum conjecture is all about the sum of the measures of the angles in triangles. And it turns out that that sum is always 180 degrees. Here's a quick demo. If you were to take this triangle and rip it into pieces and rearrange those pieces, you'll see that the angles form uh, not a linear pair because there are three angles, not two, sort of like a linear triplet. So the triangle sum conjecture says that the sum of the measures of the angles in every triangle is 180 degrees. So why? Why is this true? I'll give you a quick demo. Uh, let's say we've got our triangle and we're going to add an auxiliary line. An auxiliary line is an extra line or a line segment that helps you prove a certain statement. So let's take a look at uh, the bottom line segment AB. If we were to create a line parallel to that line through point C, that's going to be our auxiliary line. It's going to help us prove that this was true for any triangle. So now take a look. We've got our two parallel lines. And if you consider angle A, well, I know angle A has an alternate interior angle pair up top there. And likewise, angle B has its alternate interior angle pair. So those three angles together, you see, form uh, not a linear pair, but I guess a linear triplet. And as a result, they add up to 180 degrees. And so therefore, A, B, and C make 180 degrees. I'd like you to sketch this example in your notes. We're not going to talk about what the answers are. Now, we'll talk about them in class tomorrow. So uh, again, sketch this quickly. And we've got A, C, and B. And then some more information for you. That little angle up top is 70. And that angle below is 44. Pause the video and work this example. Try and find the measures of A, B, and C. Next, section 4.2 deals with properties of isosceles triangles. So recall the definition of isosceles is if we have one, then it has at least two congruent sides. And those sides are called the legs of an isosceles triangle. So a little etymology for you. The, uh, the word isosceles comes from the two Greek roots, isos meaning equal and skelos meaning leg. The side that isn't a leg is called the base of the isosceles triangle. The angle that connects the two congruent legs is called the vertex angle. The angles that are attached to the base are called the base angles. And so that brings us to one of our properties, the base angles conjecture, which says if you have an isosceles triangle, then the base angles are congruent. The converse of the base angles conjecture is also true. The converse flips around the if with the then. It would say if two angles are congruent in a triangle, then that triangle must be an isosceles triangle. And so if we can say that a statement and its converse are both true, then we can combine, combine those statements into one single statement, which is called the biconditional. Um, in general, it says if A then B, if B then A, we can condense those two if-thens into a the biconditional, which would say A if and only if B. So the example for us here, the, the, the conditional statement, if a triangle is isosceles, then its base angles are congruent. The converse, if the triangle has two congruent angles, then it's isosceles. And so then the biconditional takes that statement and condenses it. It says a triangle is isosceles if and only if the base angles are congruent. One final example. I'd like you to sketch this in your notes. We'll talk about the answers in class. We've got triangle ABC and triangle CDE. A few more things to label. 
The distance AC and, a and BC are both 7 centimeters. Let's say 42 degrees. Angle E is 96 degrees. And ED is 3 centimeters. It's not necessary to draw this very exactly, just, just give a rough sketch in your notes is fine. And please find the measure of angle A, the measure of angle D, and the length EC. Give it a try, and we'll talk about it tomorrow in class.